Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got a doubleheader here this morning. Then we'll have our final Week 13 matchup tonight around 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you guys are interested in a nice little night game. But right now we got the 12th ranked Savannah State Tigers taking on the South Carolina State Bulldogs. They're 4-5 and five on the season. The Tigers 8-3. and three. They're on a three-game winning streak. And most of their rankings are in the top 25 this season. Rush defense is a bit iffy. 59th in the country. It's cost them a couple games this season. And South Carolina State, they do like to run the football. 29th in the country, averaging over 130 yards rushing per game. They have a pretty good turnover differential as well. They're 24th. The Tigers are 6th. And we are about to get into this game, guys. And make sure to share in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord community yet, go ahead and join us. There's a link in the description below. You'll have to join us in there to get yourself on the field for Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. Slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new as well. And let's get it, guys. Let me pull up my stream on my phone so I can see who's in the chat. And we will get underway. All right, let's get it. Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get suspended. Who is it? Rashad Allen, academics. Recently caught cheating on his exam. This is not the kind of character we want on this football team, coach. All right, we'll give him one game. So Rashad Allen out for the final regular season matchup of the season for Savannah State. I believe the playbook is Oklahoma. Let me double check. And it is. All right, let's get it. Parker Thomas in the chat. Marvin Joseph, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Make sure I have my roster graphics on here real quick. All right, MJ Gator Jr., just 17 touchdowns this season. Not, not the best season for him, of course, but still pretty good season nonetheless. The entire linebacking core is out for South Carolina State in this game. That is kind of crazy. And it is raining right now. Get the ball first. Get down there. Score a touchdown. Rocky Clearwater and Pete Mitchell back to return the kickoff. Clearwater will get the return from the three yard line. And gets it up to the 25. Let's take a look at the offense for Savannah State. Starting quarterback Aaron Patrick, the true freshman. He's backed up by the junior, Jeremy Carroll. In the backfield, MJ Gator Jr., Evan Barber, Zane Roebuck, and Rocky Clearwater, as well as the fullback, Matty Ice. Receiving core, Zay Jones, Jarmel Lewis, true freshman Pete Mitchell, sophomore Anthony Numa, and a tight end, junior Matt Meeks. First play on offense, Clearwater gets the carry, and stiff arms a defender, has a first down and more carrying people up to the 39 yard line. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's up, Tyler? Number five offense in the country, 500 yards per game this season. Roebuck in at halfback for this play. They'll give it off to him, and not a lot of blocking here, maybe a yard on the carry. Second down and nine. I like the red tape on the middle linebacker's shoes. I like it, it's real nice. Here's MJ Gator Jr. Look out, he's got the edge. And he might go all the way. MJ to the house. Touchdown, Savannah State. A hot start for the ground attack. 61 yards to Pater. You want to see snow games, Tyler? Well, we might if we uh, can see a Dayton game late in the season. Why are the Discord logos and some of the players? Because those players are in our Discord community. If you're not in there, go ahead and join us. There's a link in the description below. 
If you'd like to get a player on one of our 12 schools, you'll have to join us in there. Get on the field for season four. And it is seven to nothing. Tigers on top. Three plays, 75 yards, all on the ground. Just 44 seconds. Oh, that might go out of bounds. That's all right. That's only the second kickoff out of bounds this whole week. Take a look at the defense here in a moment after this play. Direct snap. Miles Dawkins calling plays out here early. Take a look at that defense. Willie Madden, Kyle Rose, and true freshman James Tweedy. Those are the defensive ends. Linebacker core, Rashad Farrell. Rashad Allen, he's out for the game. Rayshawn Griffin at middle linebacker. In the secondary, Chris Numa, Jericho Soberanis, Cody Lee Jr., and Parker Thomas, who is starting at strong safety. Even though he's listed as a free safety. What a hit by Cody Lee Jr., the All-American. Third down and nine, quickly. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's up, Ron? How are you, buddy? Shot over the middle. That's, that's intercepted. Jericho Soberanis off the deflection from Rashad Farrell. And we have an early takeaway. As the Buffalo Bulls beat Colorado State 28-13 today. That's a top five game right there. Grambling State just trounces Tennessee State. Four touchdown receptions for Foster. 220 yards on seven catches. That's crazy. Kyle G in the chat. What's up, buddy? Welcome. Welcome Stadium is your favorite. I like it. Let's right, see what we can do from our 44-yard line. Great field position to start off. Deep shot. That's overthrown by a mile and a half to Jarmel Lewis. He had a step on him, too. J option picks up five yards. And that'll bring up third and medium from midfield. Jonah Brown in the chat. Welcome, Jonah. Glad to see you in the chat. And Pete Mitchell has the catch, but he's short of the sticks. Little Mike in the chat. What's up, buddy? Fourth down and two from the 48. Yeah, we'll punt it. John Perez in the chat, a.k.a. Pete Mitchell. Freshman wide receiver for the Tigers. How you doing, my friend? Oh, come on. Oh, I couldn't get there in time. That's unfortunate. Thought for sure that was going to go out of bounds at the one yard line. The wind carried it just a little bit back to the inside. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I missed that. Parker Thomas almost has the pick though. Off of the tip of his fingers. How am I? I'm doing alright today. Got woken up by a telemarketer though. That was kind of unfortunate. Definitely not the best way to wake up. Oh my goodness. Miles Dawkins is the head coach for South Carolina State. I, it, it's all there is to it. Two direct snaps on two drives. Come on now. Third down and six. They are ninth in the country on third downs. 52% conversion rate. Not too shabby. And they're going to go draw play. King is not going to even come close to the sticks. And we'll see another punt.
So one punt for both teams here now. And a fair catch. All right, let's see if we fare better this time. Chris Numa, 14 punt return touchdowns in his career. Just an absolute beast. Clearwater in at halfback for this play. They'll give it off to him. And Clearwater will pick up six or seven yards up the gut. Let's go triple option here. Patrick is a mobile quarterback. Unlike Jeremy Carroll, the former starting quarterback. Oh, what a spin. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Zane Roebuck to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. What a play. Everybody falling on their face on that one. Look at this spin. Woo. Oh, my goodness. And the juke. And everybody diving and completely whiffing. MJ Gator Jr. and Zane Roebuck both with touchdowns here in the first quarter. 61-yarder for MJ and a 59-yarder for Roebuck. And it is 14 to nothing with 2.12 to go in the first. Harris Gurley in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Harris, number three in the Heisman voting right now. Halfback for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. So Baranis on kick cover. She had the interception earlier. Makes the stop here. on the ground they've only thrown it what one time so far maybe twice Jay Balmer in the chat are you late I mean you're in the first quarter so you're here that's all that matters second down and 10 now and they're gonna hand it off again King picks up five yards did Chubb get any sacks in the Pac-10 championship um I, th I think Caleb Chubb had at least one sack in that game can always go back and take a look at the end of that stream. I always go over the stats for every player. Third and five, they're going to throw for it. Deep shot and incomplete double coverage. Numa and Lee out there. That'll bring up another fourth down for the Bulldogs. A block come on nope Numa looking for his 15th career punt return touchdown will he get it here no he will not he's dropped at the 41 yard line he's got five of them things on the season of course you're bound to get a handful of punt return touchdowns if you're getting nearly 50 punt returns in the season late is like getting here when I'm going over the stats post game kind of we've seen that before I was trying to throw it a little bit Matt Meeks, the tight end, wide open. It'll take five yards or four. That's cool. Just get Patrick involved in the offense a little bit more here. What do I want to run here? Second down and six. Wide open. Oh, nice deflection. Where did he come from? My goodness. That's a bit unfortunate. Brings up third and six for Savannah State. Come on, MJ. Use that speed, buddy. First down and more. Let's go. When in doubt, dump it out. MJ Gator Jr. in the flats. 
He's always got a chance of getting positive yardage out of that. See if we can hit uh, Pete Mitchell on the post route here over the middle. And we do somehow. Oh my goodness, I don't know how he fit that through there. But Mitchell with his first catch of the game. First down, Savannah State. That was dangerous. Rocky Clearwater in the chat. What's up, Rocky? And offsides by the defensive tackle. Possibly the final play of the first quarter. Single back set with Clearwater in the backfield. And that should be an easy touchdown. Rocky Clearwater is in for six. So MJ, Roebuck, and now Clearwater have all reached the end zone today. It is a 21 nothing. 10 seconds left in the first. And I kept this kickoff inbound. Let's see what Mitchell could do on coverage here. Nice play. That was Soberanis on the stop. He's all over the field today. Play's going nowhere. Nice stop. Shot Farrell with the tackle for a loss. That is the final play of the first quarter. Tigers on top. 21-0 over South Carolina State. MJ's the first overall pick. I don't know. Could be. Could be, man. Third down and 17. They just keep on going backwards. They are 0 for 3 on third down as well. And Willis off his back foot. Numa out in coverage and deflects it away. Willis 2 for 6. Negative 7 yards passing and a pick. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Numa back deep, looking for his 15th of his career. He's in the zone. Oh, he muffs it. Oh, my goodness. How? How, Sway? How are you going to muff that? There wasn't anybody close to you. That is unfortunate. All right, back to defense, I guess. How do you fumble that when you're in the zone, my guy? Quick pass left side, and it's caught by Cronin. And the Bulldogs finally have positive passing yards in the game. Think Mr. Highlight's going to be the first pick? Nice. I don't know. If I get... The first pick. I don't know who I'm going to get. Depends on what team has the first pick. And King dropped for no gain. So third and short coming up. They still have yet to convert on third down. They are the ninth best team in the country on third downs. 52% coming into the game. 0 for 4 here today. Off tackle, of course. And a tackle for a loss. Let's go. Big stop. We'll go for it. 
Fourth and two. And they're going to go quarterback. No, my goodness, they got it. Cairo stops him, but he already passed the sticks. Quarterback draw again, and Willis is going to lose three yards. Blackstock brings him down. I'm going to keep blitzing. This quarterback is not good under pressure. So you can see he's a little rattled. And King dropped for a loss. We shot Farrell. Having himself a nice day. Third and 13. Have the first pick traded away to Pete Mills. <laughs> Pete, come on, bro. <laughs> you still got a couple more seasons to play, buddy. Hey, we get the stop again. Fourth down and 12 coming up now. Willis, four for eight, three yards and a pick. Legendary numbers. Looking like Brock Osweiler out here. And deflected away by Rayshon Griffin. Turnover on downs. You'll love to see it. Jarmel Lewis has his man beat. Can Patrick hit him? Oh, he drops it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Jarmel. The usual, you know, sure-handed Jarmel Lewis just letting it slip through his fingers. That's what feels bad. That's blocking down fear. We're just going to keep it with Patrick. He's going to fumble it, and we're going to recover it with Matt Meeks. What in the world is happening right now? Hold on to the football, please. I'm begging you. Who will be the first defensive player off the board in the EFL draft? Well, if I have the first pick, most likely I'm going to pick Cy Summers because he's just that dude. And Patrick is sacked. Feels bad. Summers, of course, the outside linebacker for the Bryant Bulldogs. An absolute stud. Just a stud. But Caleb Chubb, he's a really good defender as well, so... I mean, there's a lot of good defensive players. Can I get some blocking, please? What is this? What is happening right now? Third down and 17. This drive has been just terrible. Try to hit Numa on the corner. If I can get some blocking. Numa got him. That's Anthony Numa, the sophomore receiver with a first down catch. Where's the blocking? Tyler, I, I don't know, buddy. It's just non-existent, really. Oh, MJ with the spin. Oh, he might be gone. Get that block. No. Oh, MJ inside the 10-yard line. First and goal coming up. Three carries, 96 yards, and a touchdown. Not too shabby. Nice little 32-yard average right there. No big deal. We're currently using the Eagles O-line. That, that's rough. <laughs> Patrick to the outside. He's tired, but he's in for the touchdown. Four rushing touchdowns for the offense, and all of them are by different players. You love to see it. Spreading the love. 
Now we just got to get a touchdown for Matty Ice, the fullback. And Evan Barber, who really is mostly uh, playing at tight end this season under new head coach Zach Sandlin in his first season for the Tigers. Of course, former head coach Seth Maddox won the national championship last season, retired on top, and sailed off into the sunset. Put Pete Carroll in. Who? Pete Carroll? What are you talking about, Tyler? You mean Jeremy Carroll, the quarterback? <laughs> oh, what a hit. Cody Lee Jr., the All-American free safety, coming up and laying a smackdown on him. Pickup of two yards. gonna do what you gonna do how I don't know how he caught that three hurries and a pick can we get some more pressure on this quarterback please third and inches they got four receivers coming out they still have not converted on third down oh for six in the game off tackle off tackle to the right watch for it Yep. And did we stop him? Yes, we did. Let's go. Put Jeremy Carroll in. Nah, Patrick's doing good. He hasn't done anything wrong this game. You want a Tracy Porter pick six? Parker, this ain't the Super Bowl, buddy. We're not facing Peyton Manning right now. This is Blake Bortles. Come on. <laughs> oh, we almost got there. Numa, can you hold on to it this time, buddy? Thank you very much. Only got a couple yards, but we'll take it. Up top. Oh, it's caught by Evan Barber. Let's go. What a throw on the corner. Just over the cornerback's head. Beautiful. All right, Matt Meeks in the zone at tight end now. Let's try to give him the ball. Nope. Ah, I got sacked. My goodness. O-line, you're failing me. The right tackle just kind of stood there. Watched me get sacked. That's what feels bad. Jarmel Lewis wide open. Oh my goodness, Jarmel, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, come on. That play was perfect. Come on now. Unreal. All right, we're going to go off tackle with MJ. He's got the speed. Let's get it. Come on, MJ. They're down in 18. Easy money. Let's go. They're down at 18. You got to pick up 20 plus with Gator. You got to do it. Forty seconds to go in the half. Wide open is Anthony Numa, and he's inside the 20. Spins a man out, and he's inside the five, down to the three. What a play from the sophomore receiver. First and goal coming up.
Oh my goodness, can we please block somebody? Oh boy, 14 seconds to go. We got one timeout left. O-line is struggling. That's the fourth sack, I believe, in the game. Number 18 in the land, red zone scoring, 91%. Not too shabby. Up top, Matt Meeks, touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. I actually threw that to Lewis, but as long as we come away with it, I'm fine with it. Patrick, his first touchdown pass of the ball game. He also has a rushing score as well. Total domination here in the first half. 35 to zip. Twelve seconds to go. Let's get a takeaway. Get some more points on the board. We got this. Show no mercy. Quarterback is in the zone. He'll probably hand it off anyway. I'm so surprised by that play call. Kyle Rose with the stop. That's the final play of the first half. Guys, Savannah State on top, 35 to nothing over the South Carolina State Bulldogs. All right, let's kick it off. Soberanos on kick coverage. Nice broken tackle. And Parker Thomas saves the touchdown. Very nice. Tom Jenkins injured his shoulder on the play. That's one of the cornerbacks for the team. See if the Bulldog offense can fare any better this half. Not looking like it. They don't know what to do against the Blitz. Their O line is just not good enough. Tom Jenkins out two weeks with a bruised shoulder. They do have a good left tackle, though. Which is why you haven't heard me say James Tweedy's name yet. In that defensive end spot. My goodness. Ray Sean Griffin, another tackle for a loss. It's third and 15. Oh, nice catch. Just couldn't quite get there to deflect it. I always thought it was funny in football games that you kick it off 65 yards. You can't make it farther than 50 yards with the same kicker on the field goal. Well, that's because on the kickoff, they have a bit of a, a running start. So that's why they can kick it a lot farther. It's not just, you know, two steps and then kick. And another huge hit from Cody Lee Jr. Get him out of here, coach. Wide receiver screen. Look out. And not a whole lot. Maybe two or three yards. Subaranis on the tackle. Brings up third and four from the 38-yard line of Savannah State. Bulldogs are one for eight on third downs in the game. They're going to go off tackle again. Nope, play action this time. And deflected, almost intercepted in triple coverage. And another stop, but they're going to go for it yet again. Fourth and four. Oh, 
to go direct snap. Miles Dawkins with the play call, and it backfires. Singleton with a tackle for a loss. Looks like he lost about five yards on the play. Goes out to Zane Roebuck. The speedster picks up eight yards. Look at his season, 659 yards, nine touchdowns on 70 carries. Matt Meeks in the zone, outside linebacker in the zone as well. Throw it up top and deflected away by the linebacker. Good play. What do we want to do here? So this Miles Dawkins and Controlly would have gotten that first down. You've been running it all game. All game long. Oh boy, good blocking. Good blocking. Take the first down. Negative two yards rushing for Patrick. He's been sacked so many times. Hit as he throws and off the back of the helmet of Matt Meeks, who was in the zone. Oh, boy. Sounds like it's raining. It sure is, sir. Clearwater gets the carry to the outside and picks up eight or nine yards. You like scrambling quarterbacks better than pocket passers? Yeah. I agree. I'm the same way. Third down and one. And Matty Ice picks up the first down. Not against this defense because he would have put it halftime just like he does with his dynasty halfway through. Oh my goodness. That that's a big oof. Oof. <laughs> Roebuck picks up four or five yards. Rocky, I would love to play against you, buddy. That was an awful play. Awesome. Fantastic. Let's try it again. Third down and six. Let's hit some quick slants. If you haven't already, please slap that like button, guys. The more likes the video has, the better chance it has of being seen in non-subscribers' recommended videos. Pete Mitchell with the catch at the sticks. I don't think he got it, though. Nope. Fourth down and inches coming up. Matty Ice, I'm pretty sure he got it. First down for Savannah State, their 15th of the game. Bulldogs with just two first downs. Guy's still salty over SAU. <laughs> I love that series, all right? I loved it. Matty Ice wide open, and of course he drops it. Let's go. You learned the hard way on recruiting a pocket passer that was 6'6". He was a four-star, but he ended up being a bust. 
Yeah, I mean, if you're not used to using... Oh, here's Anthony Numo. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby. No, don't fumble it. No. Oh, we got it. Zay Jones, his only play of the game, recovers the fumble at the one-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you don't really normally use a pocket-passing quarterback, you know, there's no point in even recruiting him because they're not going to fit your play style. Like me, I could use both. I just prefer having a scrambler because of terrible O-line play. So, And MJ Gator Jr. in again for his, I think, second touchdown on the ball game. Oh, that was the other Numa. Both Numas have fumbled. Chris Numa fumbled on the punt return. And his younger brother, Anthony, just fumbled that after that reception. Can use both as long as it isn't a lefty. <laughs> hey, I've gotten a lot better with the lefties, all right? I'm working on it. Literally has taken me like 17 years of playing these games to start to get good with a left-handed quarterback. I don't know why they keep trying to run the football. That poor fella has 16 carries with negative one yard rushing. Where are you going with that? Okay. Cronin picks up two yards on the catch. Yeah, my, my problem with lefties is I tend to roll out to the right quite a bit in my play style. So just doing that with a lefty obviously is not going to work out too well. Oh, come on, Numa. You got to deflect that, buddy. But I have been getting a lot better since I started doing this series because we've had several left-handed quarterbacks. What is this deflection attempt, by the way? It doesn't even jump or anything. That's awful. We've got Owen Black for UC Davis. Um, Owen Gregory was with Southern Utah. I believe we'll see him next season with Sacramento State, if I'm not mistaken. What a hit. Oh, my goodness. Get him out of here. Coronavirus is destroying the NFL. That's all right. We don't need it. Second down to 10. High snap. And the pass is caught by Cronin around the 46. Roll out both ways when you play with a mobile quarterback. Yeah, I try to, but I mean, lately I've been trying to, you know, trying to stay in the pocket. But it's kind of hard, especially with Savannah State when their O-line is just butt for no reason. And I think that's another third down stop by Rashad Farrell. Four is up in the chat, folks. It's 42-0. Can the Tigers hold on to the shutout? Fourth and inches. Going to give it off to the fullback. Yep, I missed him. Right. Stick around after this stream, guys. We got another one coming up afterwards. There's Parker Thomas making an attack on the quarterback. I think they just got the first down on that. But our next game is going to be Cal Poly, and if I'm not mistaken, they're playing Eastern Washington. Could be wrong on that. Probably am. I don't have the schedule in front of me. I just know that they're playing, all right? Deep shot to the end zone, and Cody Lee Jr. hits the receiver and makes him drop it. I love it. 
don't know why they're showing Numa. He did zero things on that play. And almost picked off by Rashad Farrell. Oh my goodness. Now third down and 10 from the 29-yard line. I'm not even sure if they're in field goal range at this point. Eastern Washington, the dorm out of the Pac-10. That was Idaho State the first couple seasons. This year, Eagles are pretty bad. And it's picked off by Cody Lee Jr. Let's go! And clipping on Kyle Rose. Well, that pick happened so fast, he probably didn't even know that we had the football. That was a pretty decent drive, too. 11 plays, 62 yards, almost two minutes off the clock. And ends in a takeaway. MJ. Oh, he gets destroyed. Oh, my goodness. He's got 119 yards today. Two touchdowns, though. <laughs> got to run some of this clock out just a little bit. Throw it up top to Numa, sideline, he's got it all the way up past the 40-yard line. He's having a pretty decent game on that right side. And what a beautiful throw from freshman quarterback Aaron Patrick. Over 100 yards receiving now for Numa. 44 yards after the catch. Alright, what are we doing here? Throw it up top. Numa. One-on-one -on -one coverage with the linebacker. And Numa comes down with it. And he's in for the touchdown. Breaking tackles. Let's go. What a game he's had. Over 150 yards receiving. And a touchdown. Another great throw from Aaron Patrick. And that was just a mismatch. They had the middle linebacker, who is the backup middle linebacker, who's getting a start here today, covering the slot receiver one-on-one. -on -one. Jay McCare is going to transfer to go pro. He's most likely going to go pro. I don't see him transferring as a junior. I think he'll be... He'll, he'll obviously start in the EFL, though. Like, right away. Because there's only a handful of teams that actually have a quarterback. But will he be elite? I just don't know. Look at that kickoff. And it's good. The field goal is good. It's just not fair. What is dominating? I know. Oh, it's picked off by Numa. Oh my goodness. Let's go. I think that's his ninth interception of the season. Oh, why would he throw it like that? Oh my goodness. BFL is AEW. I don't know what that is, Parker. Should have gotten three points from that field goal on the kickoff, right? That would be awesome. Zane Roebuck getting the carry. Zane Roebuck picking up eight yards. He's got 80 on the game on five tries. Clearwater with 46 yards on four carries. Let's see what we got going on over here. Nothing good. Zero blocking. 
Oh my goodness, if I had a little blocking right there, Matty Ice is wide open for a touchdown. Oh, man. That's what feels bad. All right, third down and one. What do we got here? Let's go goal line. A little triple option. AEW is a wrestling company. See, that's why I don't I don't pay attention to wrestling. And Patrick, first down and more. Roebuck inside the 20. Why are we playing East Western Kentucky? Oh, my goodness. wants it. Numa one on one and he's going to come down with another one dropped at the one yard line. And the Fresh Prince out here injured his arm on the play. You watch AEW every week? Yeah, I haven't paid attention to wrestling uh, since the Attitude Era pretty much. So It's been quite a while. Numa six catches, a buck 83 and a touchdown. And Matty Ice gets in for the score. Everybody in the backfield has got a touchdown today except for Evan Barber, who I think he's only in the backfield for one formation. So if we get the ball back, we're going to have to try to get him in there. But he does have a nice catch on the sideline today. MJ is Chris Johnson 2.0. Yeah, hopefully he can have more than one really good season when he's pro, though. Mississippi State just released their new Adidas uniforms. Uh, Rocky, you're going to have to link that in the Discord, buddy. i got to check that out. Draw play. That went nowhere. They just keep trying to run it, and it is just not working out for them. The Fresh Prince will return. Just a strange tricep for him. Play action. He is going to be dropped for this sack. Let's go. It's too easy, folks. Way too easy. Man filling in for Rashad Allen out here. Falling out. Third down and 21 coming up. Numa and Lee in the zone in the secondary. And he's pressured. He is picked off by Rayshon Griffin. Oh my goodness. The easiest pick six you'll ever see. Wow. He threw it right to him. The young 60 burger for the Tigers. Sixty three to zero. I want to play a game before they even worry about uniforms. I agree. Pressured. Sacked again. That's Blackstock. Oh, my goodness. Loss of six on the play. Makes it look way too easy. Oh, 
Oh, direct snap again. Probably the fourth or fifth of the game. There's a face mask, though. They finally get a positive play. That is on Crooks. And again, the running game goes nowhere. Loss of one. Third down and 11. Come on, Numa, get that, buddy. There you go. Numa with his second pick of the ball game. Was he just injured? Is he okay? Uh oh. I think he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. He basically ran the route for the receiver. Blackstock super underrated. He's a beast. He sure is. He definitely gets overlooked because there's just so many star players on this defense. And there's Barber. His first carry of the game gets the first down. And does some push-ups for good measure. <laughs> 524 yards of offense for the Tigers on 49 plays. South Carolina State, 50 plays less than 100 yards. Wow. Get him out of here, coach. And there's Barber again on the carry. And he's looking a little gassed. <laughs> Still gets a nice run, first down. Getting everybody involved here on the offense. If only Roebuck was able to get that block on the linebacker. It would have been glorious. South Carolina State's offense was terrible today. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Always great to get the shutout. Yes, sir. Always great to get the dub. Third down and ten. Coming up. the carry and Numa's gone or not Numa Gator's gone my goodness too easy third and ten just hand it off to Gator and I mean he's gonna put in that work that's what he does look at the blocking downfield my goodness I believe that was his third touchdown of the ball game listen Rocky we don't talk about Boise okay we don't talk about it. For the culture. Sixty-nine, nothing. Barring a big play here, we got the shutout. Oh my goodness, that should have been another pick. Wow. Oh, 
Why, <laughs> why did I do that? So you got 69 points, guys. Come on now. It's for the culture. You should know this by now. 10 seconds to go. Deep shot. Well overthrown. And the right guard is on fire. That's awesome. And another sack on the quarterback. That's going to do it, folks. 69-0 to zero is the final in, I believe it's Orangeburg, South Carolina. Bulldogs getting trounced. Tigers finish off the regular season 9-3 in season three of our FCS Dynasty. Now, they will not be in the ACC title game. I believe we'll see Bryant in there, though. So the next time we see the Tigers will be during bowl season. Total domination from start to finish here. Only 85 yards of offense. They ran the ball 28 times, and they just kept going backwards. They ended up with three yards rushing and 82 passing. We were sacked four times, though. Their defensive front was getting some good pressure. We were 7 of 9 on third down. They were 2 for 15. Wow. We had one turnover, three fumbles, only one lost. It's actually impressive. Five interceptions for our defense and over 600 total yards. Twenty-seven points in the fourth quarter. You love to see it. Patrick, thirteen of twenty-one, two hundred and fifty-seven yards, two touchdowns, no picks, sacked four times. He also had a touchdown run. MJ with three touchdowns on the ground, 155 yards. Roebuck, 89 yards and a touchdown. Clearwater with 46 and a score. Barber with 32 yards rushing. Matty Ice had a touchdown. And Patrick. So we didn't give Barber his touchdown, but that's all right. Numa had a hell of a game. Six catches, 183 yards on a score. Matt Meeks, two catches, 13 yards on a touchdown. Mitchell had 28 yards on three catches. Barber with a sick catch on the sideline. Ice and Lewis with two drops today. Very uncharacteristic of him. Possession receiver just can't keep possession, I guess. Not today. Singleton, seven tackles for him. Blackstock had six, five for loss, two sacks. What a beast. Soberanis, he had three tackles and a pick in the first half. Did nothing in the second half. 16 tackles for loss for the defense. Three sacks. Five INTs. All by Discord and subscriber players. Five deflections. No forced fumbles. Pick six, of course, for Rayshon Griffin. Johnson, nine of nine extra points. Ten kickoffs, seven touchbacks. Leak at a 48-yard punt. And Numa with a muffed punt return here today. Again, uncharacteristic of him. Gator, Patrick, and Griffin players the game for the Tigers. Wiley, Clark, and Sanders players of the game for the Bulldogs. Obviously, they're all defenders because, well, their offense was just not even there today. They didn't show up. Our next game, right after this stream, folks, number 22, Cal Poly, 7-3 and three on the season. Travel to Cheney, Washington, to take on the 2-8 and eight Eastern Washington Eagles. Should be a fun game for the Mustangs. I'll see you guys in about 5 to 10 minutes with that one. If you haven't already, please slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. There's a link in the description below. I will see you guys soon. Take it easy.